Hey guys, uh, welcome to the network layer protocol uh, part of our networking course. In this particular set of videos, we will actually uh, realize what networking protocols or networking layer protocols are and uh, the key reason why this subject or this particular topic is so very important is that it covers uh, one of the most essential uh, protocols that we all uh, know in networking is the IP protocol. And that is what the segment uh, we'll discuss here will deal with. Now, this particular layer is basically something which goes from your computer in a particular network to some other computer. So anything after you have decided that, okay, my browser, the first application layer has decided through the port and everything that, okay, yeah, this is the packet and this is where it has to go. Knowing the address and having the data that one has to send through, from that particular point, we have to take everything and put it at the same location where the layer above network layer, the transport layer, can take it to the destination application. Now, everything that happens between that is basically what network layers deal with. Now, there is data link layer, there is physical layer that works along with the network layer, but the key protocols that you will deal here with is what most of the, uh, whether you say companies or most of the products uh, in networking domain deals with. And the reason is that the IP protocol or the internet protocol is what the entire internet is using for the communication. Okay. Uh, other than that, we'll discuss uh, something called as ICMP protocol, internet control uh, message protocol. That is basically to help fix the problems with the basic IP, pro IP protocol. Uh, other than that, finally, as in conclusion, we'll discuss a little bit about IP security and mobile IP because uh, nowadays most of the IP that we have is for all the devices, whether it's IoT or just our mobile phones. So these are the key components that we are going to discuss in the following videos in the network layer protocol. Your key objective in this particular series should not be to memorize the format of the datagram that you have uh, already studied, hopefully in your college exams and so. It is to understand that, okay, if a particular structure has been given to a particular protocol, why each of those components are needed? If that particular component is not there, what is the problem that we are going to get? And especially in case of IPv, we will actually discuss IPv4 and in the chapter that will actually follow this, we will discuss IPv6 and how do we actually get from IPv4 to IPv6. Now, some people might ask that why not just directly go for IPv6 because IPv4 is something that most of the protocols don't use anymore. But the thing is that changing the IP protocol directly to 6, making this particular transaction nullified is not an option because of the huge infrastructure that is still using IPv4. And the only way to fix this particular problem is to figure out a way of managing two of these protocols together. Okay. We'll discuss how do you transaction from one to the other or what do you need to do now when IPv6 as an option is available as well as what were the problems other than most of the people think that okay we didn't have enough address that's one of it but other than what are that changes that we actually realized when we made IPv4 use for a very long time so all those things will be discussed in this particular chapter and subsequent videos and all you need to focus on is to the questions that we discuss here now this particular course will not actually deal only with the theoretical part of it. We will actually discuss about all the various problems, uh, almost all the videos that you will see in this particular specialization will actually deal with the very basic of questions that are asked in all the interviews. And it's not just that we are helping you answer the question in the interviews, it's that most of those are actually something that you should have asked in the very first place. For example, most of you know that IP protocol is internet protocol, okay? or it is something that is so common that IP address, IP address, all of you have heard of this. But do you know why we only say TCP IP or sometimes very rarely uh, UDP IP and never just IP as a protocol? If that is the question that actually comes to you, even if you don't mention networking as your portfolio, you have studied that subject, if nothing, for at least two semesters. And you should know that why not just IT, IP and why IT, IP and TCP together are needed. Now, these fundamental questions basically provides you with the information that you need to understand the network, regardless of whether even if you're going for data science and subjects, a good understanding of networks is needed because regardless of what fields comes and go, till the time things are connected, you will need the knowledge of networking, okay? 
uh, with this, I hope that you are all a bit more motivated towards taking this particular course and hope to see you all in the next video.